Greetings all, the devious monkey here. And as you can see, I'm a hairless monkey. I call this a reset. And if you've been on my channel for a while or you go back and you look through a lot of the thumbnails and so on and so forth, you're gonna see that every once in a while, I do this. I shave my head. I'll do that for a while until I get sick of shaving because I'm weird and I gotta shave it like down to absolute baby butt smooth, no stubble whatsoever. I don't feel like having my head be Velcroed to everything when I'm you know, laying on a pillow or whatever. So I get rid of everything. The one thing that I usually don't do is this. I don't shave my facial hair. My wife hates it when I shave my facial hair off like this. In fact, she just looked at me when I came downstairs and she's like, put it back. So, I don't know, I, I think that, and I was telling her that, that a lot of women that I know are the exact opposite. They hate it when their husbands grow facial hair, whereas mine hates it when I shave mine off. She says, I look creepy. I've had some form of facial hair, other than when I do this, our entire relationship. So, she prefers it with hair. I was going crazy, though, lately, because it started to get really, like, unruly and everything. And since I can't grow, like, a real manly beard, uh, I have to fake it sometimes, so I gotta grow what can grow long and try to fill in the patches, and it just doesn't work. I'm sure you're thrilled to, to sit here and listen to me talk about my facial hair. The point of all this is, is the reset. I need to have a reset every once in a while. I think we all need to have, let me move that damn screen because I keep looking at it again. We all need to have a reset every once in a while. And what do I mean by that? Uh, it could be something like this. You just, you can't take it anymore, so you just change your hair. You change your facial hair. You change the way you dress. You go out and buy new clothes. You, I don't know, I mean, pick something. There's gotta be something out there that, that you do that's a reset. A lot of times, especially for women, when they get out of a, of a relationship that they've been in for a long time, regardless of what the relationship was like or, or why they left it, when they leave that relationship, a lot of times, especially if they have long hair, they'll cut it short. And it's like a shedding, a shedding of that old persona and it's somebody new. That's kind of how I do my stuff. I just, every once in a while, I gotta, I gotta get rid of the old and, and attract the new. So the easiest thing for me to do is to change my hair and my facial hair. Now, I would love to grow my hair out, anime long, dirty hippie, however you want to put it. I just cannot stand all of the phases in between this and long to the point where I'm ready to go out and spend a lot of money on a really good wig that's long. I actually found a really good Johnny Depp length uh, wig that I've really been toying with. But again, sight unseen, it's crazy. Now that woman, she has hair down to her freaking knees, the back of her knees, holy shit. Um, anyways, so that's kind of the way it goes. Now, sometimes in our world, as creators, sometimes we really go crazy and we go off the reservation and we change systems. You know, so if you're a cannon shooter, all of a sudden you go out and you buy yourself a Fuji camera just to try it. You start shooting with Fuji. You decide you like it. So you keep shooting with Fuji and you start buying more Fuji stuff. Pick a manufacturer. Doesn't necessarily have to be Canon and Fuji, but you know what I'm talking about. So it, it basically goes like that where you yeah, just feel the need to change things. You're stuck in a rut. You're just sort of going through the motions and you just really want to do something different. So what do you do? You do a reset. Like in Bob's Burgers, they had the, uh, it's a do-over. Let's, let's have a do-over when Bob tried to uh, impress the moody foodie when he came in and he hacked it all up and they all just really did a poor job and the moody foodie trashed him in his review. So Tina suggested that he do a do-over. And he was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. We'll have a do-over and I'll go to his house and I'll cook him a good burger and show him that we actually have good food. And that turned out horrible. So hopefully your do-over, your reset doesn't turn out that way. But I know mine are necessary every once in a while. And 
I'll do it and I'll look at myself and I'll be like, ugh. And it's because I'm not used to seeing it, but you gotta give yourself a chance. I mean, it is a massive change when you shave all of your freaking facial hair off and all of your hair on your head. Oh, now my hands are gonna be all gross because I put like suntan lotion on so I don't burn my melon. Okay, that's really all I wanted to talk about is that every once in a while, you gotta have a reset. It doesn't have to be something as drastic as this. It doesn't even have to be something physical on your person. It could just be something that you do that is a reset. Like maybe you take a few days off and you just go out in the woods and you walk around and you listen to the birds and the, and the bees and all that kind of shit. Whatever it may be. Treat yourself. Be gentle with yourself. We all have a limit that we get to. We all get into a rut. We all have the dark times, whatever it may be. Take a step back, give yourself a reset, start fresh. That's the message. Reset, refresh, get out there and get it done. That's all I've got for you today because I'm about to go in and pick up my dinner and I'm gonna snarf and then I'm gonna lay there all night and learn about LumaFusion. Okay, so again, that's it. That's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.